all donations, putting every penny toward their mission of ending the cycle of youth homelessness. What a great cause. So HQ is making a donation to Stand Up For Kids and spreading the word to you. They're at standupforkids.org, so check them out and see if you can help a little. It means a lot. Just a little bit means a lot. Pass that along, please. Right before Q1, don't forget, tomorrow brings two great games of HQ. That's right, I'll be back for Holic Trivia on HQ, on HQ, slinging you some sports questions. And Fate Willie, Matt, will return from his break and be here an hour later for the regular HQ at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And Wednesday, it's HQ Words with the legend, Anna Royce. Stay tuned for that. I'm trying to think, I, I can never, I can never figure out those words. I can't do it. Someone give me advice. I, Eugene, if you're out there, just, I, I gotta figure out how to do it. That's all the preliminaries we have for you. Like I'd say on the other show, it's time for Clayton Kershaw to take the pitcher's mound, Tom Brady to get under center, and Phil Mickelson to tee off still at age 50. It's time to start the show. All right, thank you for being so patient. We are just about to start, but you all deserve something special. You deserve a gift drop tonight. That's right, you should know the drill by now. Tap it, see what you got. Let me know what you got. You, I'd be playing this game if I wasn't here right now. I would get a gift. I don't get anything. And my birthday was last week, so it's off now. I gotta wait for a gift like 365. Is that how many days are in a year? That's not a question tonight, is it? 365-ish days? It's gonna be a long time. Congrats on your gift out there. We got VIPs? We gotta, we gotta keep, we gotta, we need a few more VIPs, by the way, all right? I know it won't be the same without Matt here, but you can, you can take it as an extra level of difficulty tonight. We're really gonna see who survives this trial by fire tonight. All right, we need a couple, couple, couple more, couple more VIPs as we try to do this. Matt, if you're in there, if you're at the airport right now or wherever you may be on a train, get everyone on the VIP train right now. We're just almost at that 75 mark. Need a couple more, or how much is a couple? Couples, couples two to 16-ish, I would say around there. Maybe 15-ish we need now. VIPs, $1,250 I heard was in that pot. All right, there's nothing to it but to HQ it. We're on Q1. We're back. Was a 1993 animated film with what subtitle? A dinosaur story? Return of the Corleones. Where were we anyway? Are the Corleones back? Return of the Corleones? The year of the release, the overall theme, and Steven Spielberg are just three of the similarities between Jurassic Park and We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, which sounds like the prequel to Toy Story. It's also great to be back here. As, as I said, and as Ross Geller said, we were on a break. 34,207 of you have a streak of at least one question as you return and get A Dinosaur's Story right. That was before Pixar. It sounds like a Pixar movie. Q2, which of these is a European country? Croatia, Liberia, or Nepal? All right, we're going right to some geography. Don't pull out the globe. Get it right, come on. If you're like my girlfriend, you've been watching this season of Below Deck, you should get this one right. There are 193 UN member states, a small enough number that you really can learn them all, and those who have know that Croatia is right there in Europe. It's got mountains in the Mediterranean in one country. What else could you ask for? 34,791 of you are planning your Eastern European vacation to Croatia. Enjoy, but first, you gotta get 10 more questions right. Get some extra cash for that trip. Q3, what song is played most? It is played by most Jack in the Boxes. London Bridge, Pop Goes the Weasel, or Yankee Doodle? You gotta go back to your childhood here, all right? How come every time I come around my London, on a wrong London Bridge? Uh, it would hardly be a proper Jack in the Box if the clown didn't jump out at the right moment almost always on the pop, and pop goes the weasel. Still freaks me out, I'm 28 years old. 34,584 of you. Through three, the English, the English language, by the way, I think that's the best weasel song we have in it. How many weasel songs do we have? Oh! oh. He made the toys, you should have expected that. Q4, 
Which of these dishes is not prepared on a skewer? For a roti, souvlaki, or a yakitori? We're taking you around the world on a stick, or at least two thirds of it on a stick. It seems like every culture has gotten their idea of eating food off a stick. America's got corn dogs. And there's similar stuff all over the world, although Cory roti is basically gravy and crackers. So you can try to put that on a stick, but it's not gonna go so well. 20,542 of you getting that. That reminds us off, we might get, I might get my first savage question tonight. I might, not now, not now. Not now, but I might. Do we have the sacked graphic in here for these people? You guys are doing well so far. 20,542 of you going on Q5. Which of these video games initial releases involves zombies? Bioshock, The Last of Us, or This War of Mine? If you know me, I've called esports before. I have never called any of these games. I can promise you that. There are realistic and fantastic scares in all of these, but This War of Mine is an award winner about war from a civilian perspective. Interesting stuff. And genetic augmentation is the theme of Bioshock. So go for The Last of Us to fight some of the undead. I kind of thought it was a precursor for anything non-sports and video games for there to be zombies. The Last of Us sounds pretty zombie-ish, right? 22,662 of you. Even if you didn't know it, you're like, that sounds gruesome, zombies, ghoulish. All right, let's continue on. What do we got? Q6. The Romans' primary god of what also has a namesake planet in our solar system? Music, spring, or Thebes? The Romans, gods, planets, solar system. Earth, it's, it's well Earth, but most other planets do have a partial name from the gods themselves. And wouldn't you know it, Mercury is the god of many things, including thieves. So I've been told to just out, watch out for your wallet during Perihermian, which probably has something to do with Mercury. I have no idea, but that's what I've been told. Perihermian. Hermione? Perihermione? Some Harry Potter. Yeah, it sounds Harry Potter-ish. Q7. Which vegetable has an alternate name sounding like it's from an aerospace program? Arugula, eggplant, zucchini. If you're a rocket scientist, you are enjoying this HQ trivia show. These are all called different things in Europe. There are a couple of French sounding ones. And then there's rocket, an alternate name for arugula. Of course, you could see the fire coming off arugula as it shoots into outer space. I will definitely be thinking about NASA next time I dig into an arugula salad or just go to the supermarket. Did not know this. All right, we're moving on to Q8. I'm learning so, I, I just talk about sports. I'm learning so much tonight. Q8, where are you most likely to see Ben Day dots? Fabric, a map, or a photograph? Not Ben Folds 5, Ben Day dots. That's what we're looking for. These are even older than polka dots. As old as polka dots are, these are even older. Going back to when Benjamin Day invented a new process that's still, today, still used today to print newspaper Photographs, if you stand back, you can see the image. There he is, Ben Day. I have no idea if that's Ben Day. Could be. 14,013 of you took a nice snapshot of that one and have given Ben Day the time of day and are moving on to Q9. Oh, I love this question. Which of these Batman movies featured the character Bane? Batman Returns, Batman Forever, or Batman and Robin? You came back to die with your shooter. But yet, The Dark Knight Rises isn't on there. That was Bane's big screen debut. That's what you all were ready to put. Then you don't know what a Q9 is like. You're probably forgetting when a much different version of Bane was a sidekick to Poison Ivy in Batman and Robin. Yeah, there he is, looking. That's not Tom Hardy, folks. That was not Bane's best showing in a Batman movie. He did a little better in The Dark Knight Rises, but it existed in 13,213 of you. Know your Batman flicks. Very nice, impressive stuff as we have three more. Did I make this too easy? I didn't write these questions. Q10, which of these terms has a technical definition in chemistry and in law? 
deposition, objection, or sublimation. And I'm, again, I, I thought about going to law school. I have no idea what a sublimation is. I better not get in trouble. So the word of the law and the word of chemistry don't always cross over, but it happens. And to explain it all, we'd need a gas to go straight to being a solid, of course, or the legal equivalent, a deposition. No objections, no sublimations, Your Honor. We're just turning a gas into a solid, which is a deposition, I guess. Hmm. I'm thinking about Michael Scott in the deposition episode of The Office, if you know what I'm saying. That's what she said. Q11. A 2003 contest awarded a one-of-a-kind Crayola crayon in what approximate color? Green, orange, or purple? Sounds simple. Not as simple as you might think. Due to poor record keeping, yes, we, we don't, we, they didn't log the Crayola crayons that well. We don't even know who won the contest held in partnership with Kraft or what happened to the world's only C-Rex crayon named for Kraft Mac and Cheese. Kraft Mac and Cheese's orange dinosaur. That's right, make that an NFT. One of one, C-Rex, the orange crayon, 6,449. Should we say it? It's not quite? The, the, the ruling I'm getting from the booth is not a savage question, but close 6,449 of you. We've cut it down as we head into this final question. $5,000 on the line. Use that extra life if you have to, because this is it. This is the end for me. I'll be back tomorrow night. Q12. An effect where x-rays increase in wavelength as they scatter share as they scatter shares its name with what band's home? Beastie Boys, De La Soul, or NWA? Okay, the effect. No, the world of physics isn't shouting out hip-hop here, or at least we don't think. It's named for the scientist who discovered the effect, and that physicist is Arthur Compton. Like the famous home of NWA, of course. Arthur Compton, probably a big NWA fan. 7,087 of you are at least fans tonight as you are winners. I'm glad that we get to do that the same way on this show as we do on top of trivia, except as well. I see, I see diamonds, I see rockets, I see earth. I see a lot more things from school than sports. But I'll tell you the devil rich is happy with that 71 cents. Congrats, that's Freens coming back. Cup Key, Alve, Art, Larus, Bug, just Bug. Bug is a winner tonight. Nice job, B Nelson HQ did the job. Asta 68, had to wait a whole week, but you get the victory tonight. Congrats on that. Noraj, 1102, nice work. S, War, J, yeah, you did that. Philip 992. Hit it with a big 70 cent win. Sam Kerr on nine, nice job. Luna Isabel, how about CJ Lopez? All right, Henrik 08? That's right. You won the trivia game. That's how you run a trivia game. That's how you win a trivia game if you're out there. Congratulations to everyone who triumphed tonight. You make me happy. On my night hosting, you did it. We're grateful to everyone who turned out while well, we have restarted cranking this machine. And of course, we hope to see you tomorrow night because we've got a double header. I'll be on the mound first at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 Pacific, hosting Paul of Trivia on HQ. What a beautiful graphic right there. That'll be an hour before the regular HQ at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 Pacific, where Matt should be. And then on Wednesday, it'll be Anna Roisman with HQ. Words Wednesday. Wednesday, Anna Roisman. Don't forget about that charity, folks, by the way. Stand Up For Kids. They're working hard every day against youth homelessness. They're at standupforkids.org, and it's easy to donate as little as bus fare for a kid to get to school, so don't forget to do that. Until tomorrow, I'm Jeff Eisenband, and I'm gonna leave you with a great, I know Matt Richards is great at writing a closing joke, but here goes nothing from me, all right? My joke is...